Todd? Yeah. Todd, there you are. I have been avoiding calling anybody because of, oh, I don't know, the 229th day of my illicit phone program. Yeah. Do you know what happened today, last night? What? Did you know Chris Crawford? Yeah. He died. He got oh. over. They OD'd him, and he died. He OD'd. And they OD'd that guy. Yep. Yes, what they, they did. What they put, What they give him? It, it was a. It was a process. It was a process over. I'm sorry. What they give him anyway? They drugged him up. Hold on. And, one, hold, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Okay. Yeah, I've been Todd. Yes. Yeah, I've been I've been thinking, man. I gotta call you and find out about the Junction City thing, man. Tell you what's going on here and this and that. And what's going on with you? And uh, and uh, I've got a I've got a hearing a hearing date set, man. I tell you, Todd, I have been just been chomping at the bit, but I don't want. But every time I try to connect. With somebody on the evening shift, they just they just sabotage the hell out of it, you know. And then I blow my whistle, you know. I blow a head gasket and shit. It just goes on and on and never stops, man, you know. And so I just have been taking the the lesser, worst possible excuse of a road out, and not calling anybody. I didn't call anybody and wish them a Merry Christmas or a Happy fucking new year man let me tell you i'm really upset thank you for calling me okay yeah now tell me what did chris crawford get overdosed on oh uh all i know is, is uh uh they had him on uh 20 mil- milligrams of volume a day and 20 milligrams of abilify a day and then there was more i don't know about and they were uh and he was on that, and I'll tell you, man, it's just been the shit up in here, you know, everybody but the, the idiot superintendent and showed his face, which he won't come around me, you know, if we done had it out face-to-face mm-hmm. with that motherfucker. I'll tell you, man, what a world, what a world this is we are living in, you know. And, uh, ben, it, let me t- let's talk about Chris for another minute. Let's- Right. Let me tell you, it was a slow process. Okay, yeah. and he kept he kept saying, "God, I'm just too fucked up. I just I can't function. I, I can't even I can't even hold this cup of ice, you know." And he's got God, man. It's, you know, I feel like I just want to rock back and forth like one of the other, you know, one of the real you know sick brothers, man, on this fucking meds and stuff. I just don't know what I'm doing. And he's like, God, it's, I'm losing control of my emotions, my my uh, my motor reflexes, my you know impulses and shit. I just ain't fucking got it. I'm like God. I don't know what to do, Chris. Except you know, I'm just hanging there, man, and 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 wait until I find out what Sadie's gonna do, and then I'll call, and then I'll give a call to the Scientologist people, you know, because I got those numbers and shit, and um, mm-hmm. boom, you know, which I haven't done yet. I'm holding them, you know, as a last resort because I know that they're going to fucking come across. In fact, they would have already come across with me. But the thing is, um, um, now I know that they're going to fucking barrel roll up in here. And so uh, I'm going to wait until Monday or whenever, you know, to give them a call and stuff. Is there something you needed to know that you wanted yeah. to ask well, about him? First, no, well... It sounds terrible. I knew that guy ever since. It like, is, man. 2006. He was a good guy. 22 years, man. 
Mm-hmm. You know, 22 years. This, see, but this is the point. This is this is what happens. Oh, by the way, I just got off the phone with Hannah Hoffman. You know, doing the article yeah. and stuff. And so she's gonna it's gonna come out tomorrow in the states. And I don't know how much she's gonna quote of me. In fact, not very much. I just told her uh, to to put in that yeah he was one of Mary Claire's children. I told her that I wanted her and tell her tell tell her the world I said that. You know that uh, mm-hmm. one of Mary Claire's children. And, uh, and well, in 22 years, and she asked a few questions about him and this and that, and so. What we could tell her is to. The statistics, there's a medical studies that have been done that show people on Abilify die 25 years sooner, and it's the medicines that's doing it to people. And it's just yeah. like, do you know, remember Moises Perez? That guy died from Clauseril. And it's just yeah, every there's dozens of patients there. Uh, also, the, who was the guy? Uh, remember I told you there was a dude, Lighthouse 2, um, Tommy Smith, he died mysteriously, 50 years old. Yeah, yeah I know. Well, he, he's dropping dead well, left he, and right. He, well, well, he wanted to die, and he probably probably OD'd himself. Uh, I was actually there when, when he uh, attempted to uh, OD himself numerous times, man. Well, look, I know the patient's got that history, but I was with him. Uh, I was with him. He was doing right. okay. Yeah, he was oh, doing. Shit. He was oh, being. That's ab- right. You were there, huh? He was being you, abused. You were, when he, you were there when he died, right? He was being abused by the staff. It was just a month or two after I left that he finally yeah. died. Oh, and, after you left and shit. Yeah, and I saw him get smashed in the face by staff. He had busted up eye socket and everything right before I left. Mm. He was doing okay. He was not hurting himself. It was the staff. He was. He was upset that they were always abusing him. And they were harassing him over this. And I think, oh, no. yeah, he just his heart just gave up over all the the turmoil and everything. I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, about time, I guess you know. Well, yeah. But, but I think I think that's what's happening. That's what's happening now. You know, with with Chris, man, is you know, is, I think it's just fucking heart exploded and and he just uh, <clears throat> you know, came too much because he was so anxietized. You know, he asked me. You know, because I'm the legal guy on the ward. He's like, mm-hmm. like, Carl, man, you know, what What exactly, you know, is the law? And what are the ramifications of being fucking overdrugged like this? I just fucking, I'm so fucking drugged up, man. Mm-hmm. What are the ramifications? That's when I talked to him. I said, I, I said look, man, this is, this is, uh, um, how you say, uh, med- uh, medicinal restraints. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, excuse me, chemical restraints, chemical uh, lobotomies right. too. Yeah, for real, and and that's basically Ch- chronic uh, toxicity. Yeah, what is what is going on? So that's what they did. They they over, over overdosed him and stuff. Listen, that's all that, and that's going to be dealt with. How are you? How the fuck are you, man? I miss you. Okay, I miss talking to you. Okay, so and, what I know is, and, and, and I'm and I'm sorry that that I didn't. No, that I it's all right. In contact with you, with you on a. On uh, um, you know, over the holidays and stuff, and I don't blame anyone for not contacting me, okay? Because it's this bullshit that I have to go through to get to, get through to you, you know, and all that. So, so I'm glad to talk to you. How are you? Okay, so I'm I'm doing okay. I'm actually really terrible. I got high CK in my blood. High. What's that? That's when your muscles and your brain are breaking down, and lots of enzymes. I got C reactive protein in there too. It's from inflammation all over and also Great. Yeah, brain like damage. Grant. Brain damage. And what? it's brain and muscle damage. That's what it's from. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Listen And I got into it let me tell you about my attorney. I got oh, I, hold, hold on one second. Okay. One second. I, I have got to connect with the med giver. It's getting well, it's getting about it's getting about time. And let me, to, to, to maybe you could talk a little later, but let me ask, do you remember the name of the senator that you mentioned a couple of months ago that was, who recently was talking to you guys about the state hospital or something? Who's the one that doesn't like the state hospital? Representative Tomei. Tomei, yeah. Tomei, yeah. What's T-O-M-A-I. it? T-O-M-A-I. I don't know. Um, I, could, I could get the number. In fact, I gave you the number. Well, but, do you uh, have her first name? Uh, uh, Carolyn Tomei, T-O-A-M-E-I, something like that. 
I I have that I have that number. Oh, I got that. it here too. I just found it on Google. Good, good. Is it one four four one? Oh, look. Hold on a second. I want you to call me. Look, let me let me do this. Guess what? I have I had it, it was Chris that actually gave me. I have her uh, her fucking office number, and but that is the capital number. Okay. Yeah, it's five zero three nine eight six one four four one. Yeah. Now that's the capital number, but I've got the other one. The okay. district number's here too. I've got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. I, I got it her. to you. No, I got it off her website, and her email address is here, and everything. And you got the number and shit. Yeah, the district is five zero three six five three. Five one eight. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good. 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 Great. Yeah. Yeah. Call her. Yeah. Definitely. Why would Why would you call her? By the way. Oh well, I'm sending her an email right now. For. About my website and everything. Cool. And Excellent. My, let me just tell you this, before, and we'll go. My attorney is hiring a private yeah, investigator. Yeah. She's going to be coming over there to the hospital to investigate the staff. Who? Uh, the investigator's name is Jennifer Mahogany, and she's Mahogany. Yeah, and she's a she's an expert on this, and she's going to be interviewing staff, getting security video, pictures, and everything. And for for this, like everything I told you about, we're going to go back to 2008 and find out what the U.S. Department of Justice and the state of Oregon did, and they warrantlessly spied on me and covered all this stuff up. We're we're going to. Right. Yeah, yeah. And listen, I wanted to talk to you about, and I wanted to reconnect with you about the OIT thing, okay? Because listen, um, oh, what's his name? Luke. Luke is definitely, he's in, all right? And he is putting in his uh, tort claim notice. I told him to put it in right at night. Okay, and when he finds out this is going on, and he, he is wanting to go through with it, and he's been putting it off, but I told him to write it tonight and get it to me on uh, uh, next Thursday, and then then I'll call uh, David Deutsch, and we'll get it on, and we'll see about getting ourselves some help and this and that. Okay, well listen, when can you call me again? I gotta go take these meds. Um, for real. I I could call you maybe a little later tonight, about six. About when? Six or seven. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. Have them. Have them come and get me. Get me up. Okay. Because that's usually when I uh, lapse out. All right. Okay. <laughs> have them come and get me. All right. And uh, we'll talk about uh, David Deutsch and this and that. Okay. And uh, good. I need for you to call me. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. All good. Right. I'll talk to you then. All right. All right. Bye. Thank Bye. you for calling. You're welcome. Hello. Are you oh, there? Yes. What's up, Carl? Hey. Thanks. Uh, me just barely. <laughs> I just just got out. It's you calling back, huh? Yeah. That's okay. Three three days later is better than none at all. Okay. How yeah. are you? Oh God, I I'm I'm kind of excited right now. I just I put up an article on my site about Chris Crawford's death and I'm yeah. I put up it's I'm just psyched a little bit about it. Uh I I'm you know pretty much I think he was just a, just like all all of the rest of the people there. Uh, drug till they're dead, twenty years taken from them. Right. Mary Claire's children, you know. And there you go. Yeah dude, so I put some of that in there. And uh I, there's articles already on the statesman and the Oregonian, and so I just kind of put some extra stuff on there, and, and I, I got a document that says, patients who take medications die 25 years sooner, and I put that PDF as a research from like seven years ago, and I've, yeah. I got all these different articles about drugs killing people and causing death, uh, brain injury, yeah. 
Wow, how yeah. cool. Man, I wish I could hook up to that. I would spend like two days on it. Yeah, and there's an animated, I got an animated GIF, and it says it, it's a, and I use the comparison that, hey, do you remember the, the movie Aladdin? Remember yeah. Disney? And how the, the parrot, when Jafar takes control, the parrot's like stuffing the Sultan's face full of crackers. Oh yeah, I got a I got a funny picture, an uh, animated picture of that. And I'm 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 saying the Sultan is Chris Crawford. He's falsely imprisoned, and he's the the state is just stuffing his mouth full of pills. And it's it's, it's funny. It looks great. It looks like you know oh. he's being poisoned and drugged. <laughs> Except the crackers are the poison and drug, right? Well, right. so, where you gonna where you gonna love this? I don't I don't exactly know where it came from, but I hear that it's from me. Hold on. Okay. All right. From, from a fairly reliable source mm -hmm. that that they're trying to they're trying to burn it and to get rid of the evidence. And uh, oh yeah, Ooh. I'm 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 like reasonably oh, sure. Wow. I'm reasonably sure that Sheriff Cheney is uh, not going to be returning. You know, when Who's I saw Troy Cheney? Sherry Cheney. Sherry Cheney. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the, Who's, the, that's the, the doctor. doctor. Wow. Yeah, that, that administered this. Do you want oh, a pen? You want me to get a pen? Uh, just write her hand down. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn my computer and type it. Hey, yeah, me. Yeah, is this. Of course, you know how to spell Sherry with an I-E. And uh, C-H-A-N-E-Y. Kind of like it's kind of like it's spelled, you know, Cheney. And uh, when I was uh, going past the uh, the hub the other day, uh, I guess where the uh, she was being read the last rites of uh, what it takes you know, mm -hmm. by by the uh, by the lead psychologist and that. It wasn't the main, but you know she's still with the one that gets to do the dirty work, and I'm, I'm very sure that she is not going to be back tomorrow morning, if ever. So, well, you you keep me updated. I I will post this right to my uh, website, and holy crap, that sounds big. So they already you're already hearing through the grapevine, and you you absolutely know that he had been abused. Oh, and, absolutely, that's really no. There's absolutely no doubt about it. The night before, put this. Check this out. The night before, uh, he had he had stayed up until like two o'clock, and uh, he had been writing that there, uh, you know, just like everything uh, that was really wrong with him mm -hmm. uh, that that these meds were were doing, and um, they they got it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but fortunately. Um, uh, uh, someone here who was who was uh, up with him all night uh, was was there to uh, sorry was there to, to talk about it and uh, that, that was really that's really it man you know it's like uh, I I heard him down the hall and he was talking really loud and about his his life and his crime and this and that and he really felt that. Well, no, you know, I I heard him like for the first time, come to terms with just everything. He talked about his sister, and I'll tell you, man, it's like like his subconscious knew what was about to happen, and he was really just laying it all out there. This really nice nice girl, her name was Lonnie, and uh, you know, she was just really wonderful to him and listened to him, and and he was just was really loud, you know, but I didn't. I didn't, you know, it wasn't anything that I, I felt compelled to go up and say, "Hey, you know, can you keep it down?" or nothing like that. Because it's like, real, like, dude, if the dude's on a roll, great, you know, let mm -hmm. him let him go on about himself, and that's exactly what he did. And um, yeah, all, all good news, all the better, the best parts about being himself, man, and and mm -hmm. all of this and. Being here for all this long and what what he learned, I'm telling you, man, it's like he was writing his own epitaph. I swear to God, it's like what he, like what he, like what he was doing. 
And, um, yeah, everyone that heard it, I talked to the next day, you know, and that was there, it said, yeah, oh, my God, yeah, you're right. I can't believe it. That's the way it is, you know. So um, that's really something. And so uh, what else he did, like I say, uh, he wrote down on paper uh, everything that this drug was doing to him, and he planned on handing it over to Sherry Cheney that night. But uh, the, the guy that he was up with late late that night, he had heard a thump in his room, and he, and he was uh, right across, he lived right across the um, the hall from him, you know, and, and at 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, it goes thump, you know, and it's like on the bed, and maybe he was just uh, standing up or something, and uh, probably, probably hit the bed or whatever, and this and that, I don't know what. Um, damn, it, damn. It hit, hit the wall or, you know, and it's just like, and it, and it last um, um, measure of, uh, you know, life force, and hit the wall, but he just, he just across the hall heard a, a big thump. You know, mm-hmm. and he said it sounded like him hitting the mattress or something like that. But uh, whatever it was, that was that was it. You know, and, and then he that was his that was his uh, last last sounding cry for uh, whatever for of life. It's like thump, and then yeah. eight o'clock, yeah. eight o'clock the next morning they they found him and all of that. So isn't that something, huh? Now, I need to find out, so I I've, I knew Chris, and you knew Chris, and you've been following him. Yes. What I say on my website is that you were you were there, too, with him, and you heard everything that he was saying about this for, for a while. How long was he going through this, and what was he going through? Like, let's recap it. He, he, uh, he, he'd, been, he'd been on these drugs for a month. But in the, just in the, in the last two weeks, he was really getting serious about this mm-hmm. thing. And saying that, and look, man, I was actually, I was actually one of the last last uh, people to to speak with him uh, personally, and he asked me to my face, you know, he said, God, Carl, you're the, you're the law guy, man. What, uh, what exactly can I do, man, to get these people to stop? I mean, what are the legal ramifications of being way too drugged about about this, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, that was it, you know. And so. Uh, you know, when it comes, I'm trying to get a hold of his sister right now, and I've got mm-hmm. a, I've got a friend of mine that, in fact, you you could probably get a hold of, get a hold of her uh, uh, quicker than I can, mm-hmm. right? If there's any way that you can, then you get her to call here and speak to me, okay? Yeah. Because Chris was talking to me about, you know, for the first time uh, about, yeah, this is what it's like, and this is what what I did say. He's like, yeah, fuck. Chris, man, this is exactly what it's like, and uh, of what it, what it, what happens to people that are here for this long, man. This is mm-hmm. what happens to us. You know, we get all fucked up, and then we do stupid stuff, and then next thing you know, they have a reason to drug us because we're fucking here for so long, and we're all fucked up. And then uh, next thing you know, well, shit. Guess what? Next thing you know, you're dead. So, well, it's yeah, it's a pattern and well it's like coercive treatment and two it's all they do that will keep you there and it's letting yourself go crazy deliberate indifference you're not going anywhere and things yeah. happen and and they don't they don't try to keep you moving forward at all right. and, it's, and and what's what's the what's the name of your of your uh, website oregonstatehospital.net yeah oregonstatehospital.net okay yeah um do you do you know that if uh, hannah hoffman knows about it Hannah Hoffman probably does. Um, you you could talk to her on my behalf and just ask her. I haven't. I'm, I'm, I'm calling her tomorrow morning. You know, mm-hmm. it's all it's all on tomorrow morning. That's really all there is to it. Yeah. To, uh, I'm gonna be contacting her. Well, she wants me to call her, and I you know I called mm-hmm. and and I talked with her. I I, I tried to get a hold of her the first time, and uh, they're like. Uh, and, and the whole ma- whole matter was still fresh, and they're like, uh, "Oh, oh no, this lady on his phone program, no, yeah, no, he's not making that call, right?" And so you know, they mm-hmm. they stalked me. So this is what about the 
334th day of my phone program today. Mm-hmm. You know that? So this week they better be coming off of it. Now. They got you on a, a leash and they got you, so they don't want you to do much of shit. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and I, I talked with uh, the vice superintendent the other day, and, man, she just like... Well, Carl, you're on this because you're just someone who you talk to people, you know. I'm like, you know what, Nina, Nina, you know, you, do you actually believe everything that they tell you? No, she's she's giving you an excuse for her deliberate indifference. She's just... Well, absolutely there. And and for the reason that, that she was uh, the one who was very surprised when I told her that her name was up there uh, on a no-contact order on my uh, uh, phone program. She was the one that was shocked. Remember I was telling you? Uh-huh. I had, had seen her downstairs, and, uh, you know, three days after I faced off with Greg, who lied to me, and it was, it was her that, that I knew was telling me the truth and all of that. So that was that. Was that. So OregonStateHospital.net, right? Yes, yes. Hey, let me ask you this. Now, uh, what... Precisely, what were the side effects that Chris that you observed him having? Um, so that I, because I'm going to put this on my site and I want to have it in, okay. in your words. Right, what? Good. Okay, good. Because he was, he was way, I mean, overly lethargic. Mm-hmm. He was sleeping constantly. Uh, you know, oh, over sedated, yeah. Yeah, to the point of missing meals, confusion, and other things too. Probably, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't. He, you couldn't hold. Uh, you couldn't hold a, a whole conversation with him. It was only a couple of sentences that he. Memory was, loss. Yeah, it sounds like a type of memory loss that happens when you're. No, you, no. It's what happened? Uh, no, it's more more of, of a, a frustration. Oh, of, okay. Of being, of being uh, unable to express himself. Uh, oh, oh. Um, you know, in a in a, an appropriate, considerable fashion. You know, so it was a it was a motor and cognition control issue. I've, yeah, kind of, I've seen it. I've seen it before. I know what it happens. And, yeah, and, yeah. And he, dude, he, dude, he was rocking back and forth. You know, yeah. You know, Slept, do. oh, restlessness, akathisia, maybe even yeah. some muscle tension that's making him move a lot. Absolutely. And, dystonia. And rocking, right? Yeah, dystonia, rocking back and forth. And going on and on, you know, and just couldn't sit still, and you know, and and you know, um, yeah, all of the above, man. That's, so look, that so. sounds a lot like uh, it's called dialectic monadic syndrome. When those symptoms come on really fast, and you've got so many different ones of them, um, you've got uh, dopamine uh, blockade. Blo- uh, dopamine uh, blockade. Uh, it's probably uh, exactly uh, it. Uh, probably exactly what it was. Uh, I bet that's exactly what happened. Yeah, neuroleptic, neuroleptic, uh, say it again. Neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Mal- neuroleptic malignant, malignant neuroleptic symptoms. Okay, ne- it's neuroleptic, like medication, mal- malignant syndrome. Yeah, neuroleptic malignant syndrome. That's it. Yes. That's, what, that's it, dude. That's what he died from. Yes. Yeah. So listen. You got his sister's name, right? That was in the Oregonian, okay? Yes, and I, his sister's, there's something in there about that. I'll, I'll double check it. Right. I'll, Look, I'll get her name. Find her. Find her, okay? Because um, she is uh, the only chance that we have. Um, I'm going to I'm going to see about smuggling out the, um, the, uh, um, the letter. To uh, that has see how this all started is that that uh, he went he went to Sherry Cheney uh, after after uh, she caught he got caught with a, a cell phone and said hey look you know what how'd you like me to show this to the press right and you know what it was the the um, how you say um, it was the um, the email that had. Do you think and like, it, it was something that Greg Norman and said, uh, Sherry Cheney going in her last line, do you think I should ri- remind him not to piss off the pill lady? Yeah. Hmm. Know, unquote, that's exactly what 
you know, you can you can put it, put it in there. Sherry Sher- Cheney said in an email, you know, about somebody else in her last line. Do you think I should remind him not to Chris, but to someone else? Do you think I should remind him not to piss off the pill lady? Yeah, that's exact, and that is verbatim. And you know, and but it is, and uh, uh, Hannah Hoffman wants me to send it to her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smuggle it out to her tonight. So All right. Get to her. If you, I really want you to try to keep the original and give her a copy because that could be. I would love to get a copy of that too. Um, that's some interesting stuff. Get, get, getting something off this ward right now is is like um, almost impossible. Mm-hmm. Okay, and so I'm going to ask. Uh, I'm going to ask. Um, you, if you, in fact, I'm going to write in there if she could could email that to you. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. That would be great. And, yeah. If if she could put that uh, on a scanner or something and then email it to you. Okay. All right. All right. And now the, there's an alternative. Uh, and that and that'll be a good reason. That'll be a good reason to putting to putting uh, 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 to throwing uh, your website. Uh, out there to her. That'll be a really good reason to do that. And so that's what I'll do. Great. Perfect. Perfect timing. Okay. So that sounds great. Um, I can also, so you're going to mail it to her. I was going to say, if you mail it to me, I can copy it and send it to her too. That's another option. It's never, no, well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it to her. I'm going to get it to yeah, her. I think she's most important because she definitely should be the one to coordinate this with. Yeah. I'm gonna read over. She's. I'm gonna read over her article. She's got an article about this. I'm gonna tell you if it looks like she's concerned about the hospital, or no. if she's. No. Yeah. It's, it's. 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 She just. She just. At this point, had to do the point counterpoint thing. Okay. And uh, uh, Yu Xing at the Oregonian uh, are yeah, yeah. more more than her, mm-hmm. which kind of surprised me mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. she's withholding it mm-hmm. when I talk to her tomorrow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna question her. Now, yeah. I told her that I have an outdate, right? Did I tell you that I have an outdate, or at least um, a, an alleged outdate? Yes, you said that that they came to you and they their opinion changed, and now they just want to they want to get you out of there after right. ten. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. after twelve, after almost thirteen years, it's going to be uh, February twenty sixth. Yeah. Right. And so uh, that's going to be that, and I'm going to have uh, everybody there. I don't want to piss off Hannah or, any, or anything like that, but she because she has already promised she's going to be there. But guess what? You know what? Uh, I was going to concede and give and and give uh, Dr. Sadie what he wanted, but you know what? I think I won't do anything that he wants. <laughs> I think now I'm just going to go in and disprove everything. You know what? I'm my own lawyer right now. They can't take it away. I actually got got uh, the the paperwork that that says uh, that the hospital is not, uh, you know, the team is not going to question uh, his qualifications or his uh, uh, whether or not that that he uh, is able to represent himself and. Uh, I've got it on paper now, you know, by Dr. Visner, and so that's that's it. And he can't take it away from me. And if he dares to take it away from me because I don't want to do what he wants to do, mm-hmm. then I'll just say, look, I'll just call up uh, Juliet Bolensby and say, hey, look, uh, you know what? You drag me in there right now, and we're going to have a little mini hearing to decide one way or the other, and we're going to cut the twos and froze of this because you know what? They won't even let me online to pick out a psychologist. And uh, that's one thing that I'm really upset about because, you know, it says in the handbook, uh, oh, yeah, computer usage is encouraged by those do da day and, uh, you know, uh, at will, and check with your IDT. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm my lawyer, you know, and I've uh, requisitioned um, um, the IDT twice and they've turned me down more than once. You know, and said, no, you know, you're just a patient. You're not doing shit. You're not going to get on there. I'm like, look, man, I'm not going to go porn surfing, okay? I'm going to look for a psychologist, okay? I'm going yeah, to yeah. Prefer, prefer a naturopath, you know? And so we had this conversation before. I know, and here's what it is. 
if 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 they it's censorship. It's like they don't want you to find doctors. They don't want you to have information because you get on the internet, you'll find stuff that's going to shatter their world because it's going to. It's going to contradict everything they ever tell you. Then they don't want you to get on there and have a blog so that you're telling the world about how shitty they are so that everyone on the outside can... There's a bunch well, of staff who have blogs, and they post I'm stuff. Not, I'm not going to get anything on a blog or anything like that. Well, I that's what they're to, worried about. I just, I just want to find... No, no, I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, no, I know, I know, but... It's, it's going to be with the staff there. In fact, I don't even know. Well, well just a minute. On hardly. Let me say this. No. I'm, I'm talking about in general, that's why they don't want patients to be on the internet because they do not want anybody to know what it's like to be a patient. I'm not saying that, that you're going to get on, but that's why they just won't let anyone do shit. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, that's why they shut down Luke, man, because he uh, uh, had Facebook. Yeah. You know? and, and he, uh, uh, all that, but he, but his girlfriend has Facebook. And in fact, I don't even know what, what, uh, what uh, her, her site is. And that I should though, you know what? That's what I should do. But I haven't called him, and uh, I saw him um, the other day, and I told him to get on with it because when Thursday comes around, I want I want to hear um, I, I want to see his uh, um, uh, or claim notice. Now, by the way, you do have one in, right? Oh yeah, I've got so many. Notice. Yeah, I'm tort tort claimed up. Okay. Uh, what I would like to do is to see uh, your latest applicable one, okay? All right? Can you send that to me? That's what I need to see because if I get three of us, that's when I get to call David Deutsch, okay? Mm -hmm. So we, I can walk in and handle my end of it, but when it comes down to three of us, uh, that is more than one patient that is being abused by the uh, OIT people, the OIT, which, by the way, you know, uh, you heard or you read, you read in there uh, that it's uh, going to be handled by OIT and they're going to get their hands on it. Yeah, if there's any abuse, bullshit. All they're doing is going to cover them up. In fact, the idea. Yep, yep. The, the idea to cremate him already. In fact, he might already have, have been cremated like, like they did with uh, 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 Moses, Moises Perez uh, automatically just to cover this shit up, you know. But, um, you know, if they do that, then, oh, they're just... Uh, yeah, they don't, they don't want anyone them. outside of them to have access to the body. Oh, God, it's... And plus, they're all, only, only their own investigators can look at it so that their investigators know what information to censor and hide and push it on the road. Uh, I know. Yeah, yeah. No, no. And, and, yeah. And, and, and you know what? I definitely, you know, I add that in to, to your website that there's, there's been talk, and that came from staff, that there was, was rumor that they are uh, looking to Ooh. cremate him and get rid of the evidence. <laughs> Yeah, you're good. That right up on your side, man. Okay. Yes, and, and uh, I think what I'm, I'm not actually. Now, let me just finish this call. I think I'm going to put this entire call up there. Would that be good? This is okay. this, this is that's really good. Okay. So we're we are recording, right? Yes. Well, this one I'm okay with. Oh, except for you know, damn it! I said the, I said one thing. Oh, uh, I think damn it's man. all it's all pretty good. It it's insiders going to listen to this. This is juicy. If, if they're interested uh, in it. Well, they're it's all, all, they're all going to listen to it. But anyway. Um, all right, well, let me tell you this last I, thing. I, I, you know, I'm, i got to tell you this about David Deutsch. Now, normally I'm a, I'm like, I'm sitting there looking at the DOJ. My website's got, I'm, I'm like, dude, they, they spied on us. They, they screwed us over. They, they didn't do anything. I'm no, not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not opposed them. about that. Now, I mean, if we all go to them like you want, and we've got it all laid out. And, and this yeah. wouldn't be this wouldn't be about uh, uh, them, um, you know, doing you with any sort of machine. This isn't going to be about them. It's a surveillance. Uh, it's it's actually more than that. It's definitely that. To me, it's well, it's going to be it's all about, about. It's going to be about. It's not going to be all encompassing. Okay. Oh oh, I'm not talking about the previous it's issues. About, yeah. It's going to yeah, be yeah. about. Uh, them beating the shit out of you, you yes. getting it on paper and then covering it up, and then OIT coming in there and sweeping up after him like nothing ever happened. That's all it's going to be about, okay? It's not going to be about your hospital issues. Absolutely, absolutely. That's what I'm that. saying. 
That's that's why I'm good with that. Point this down and keep it simple. We take it simply get, over get, to them. We get, right, we get the three of us yeah, right. there, and that's it. You know, just fucking your pictures. Your pictures are just absolutely uh, out, outstandingly remarkable. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and telling if nothing else, and and they did nothing. God dang, man. You know what? What's wrong with them? Hey, look. Let me tell you what. Uh, what what I have decided now. Fuck this. I'm bringing the fight to them. Okay, if only out of the memory of Chris, I'm bringing it to them. It took me a couple of days to work up to it, and I think I kind of suspect that I would when I talked to you last time. But I'm telling you right now, I'm solid on it now. Uh, this is this is now something else, absolutely. And so um, uh, he, he's going to be by uh, first to next week, and I'm just going to uh, tell him, you know what? No, and you can't do anything about it. I dare you to try and and. Uh, 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 tap me as unable to uh, aid and assist, and fuck you. You know what? Let's fight from here, okay? You ain't got you ain't got the horses. Let's do it, okay? You know what? And besides, you're you're my number one witness, and everything that that you get up to say, I'm just gonna discredit you from the beginning. Look, I'm going in to say how this hospital fucked me up. That's what I'm telling. And I'm just somebody who barely survived. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm putting forth tomorrow? My twenty fifth grievance all right and that entails all of the retaliation going on uh, and especially in this work i'm going to have at least 28 by the time i'm done trust me by the time that that uh that february whatever comes up i'm going to have at least 28 and i better not have any more so and and on each one of these is at least one of them from one to five Mm -hmm. Counts. I'm telling you, fuck. I got I got all, over 50 counts now. I guarantee it of of wrongdoing and covering up. Uh, yes, we the, we need someone to pay attention to us because we've got it. It's just no one pays attention. I, I am. I am, and 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 that's going to be the real strong point uh, with me and and talking with with David Deutsch. It's like, look, we look, we got nobody, and the only and the only and and the only people that we do have are the motherfucking is the motherfucking uh, uh, fox in charge of the hen house, mm -hmm. you know, which is uh, for, uh, on both sides. You know, we got one on the lookout, uh, uh, which is uh, OIT, and the other one on the inside, which is administration. And mm -hmm. they're both fucking us for real because they can. And, and, and no one's there to stop them. Well, it's time to step in and stop them. And uh, that's really it. So is there anything you want me to tell Hannah tomorrow? You tell her whatever you can. I'd love to. I maybe I don't know if, if they could front an investigator who wanted to. We we me and you both we're we're running on so much knowledge. We just need someone that wants to get it all together and print print right in the press. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. If she doesn't if she doesn't do this, then I'm I'm calling you Shing right away. Okay. And uh, that's going to be it. And then I'm going to, and because Yu Xing had been, been uh, chomping at the bit to get a hold of me and to find out what's going on because she heard that, that it was me that cut loose Mary Claire. And she's the one actually had that, that put in more in the article, word for word, than Hannah, Hannah Hoffman did. And I'm, I am going to question her on this. Yeah. But, um, but, but Hannah Hoffman did and has put in uh, uh, an extra article or two that the Oregonian didn't, you know, because she put in the, you know, this is what, what she did. But the thing is, she did that right after I had called her and and said, look, man, you know, you can't be falling for this. And so she went in and dug a little more and got what's at public access. But now I think she's going to come to the patients, and the patients are going to come to her. And, and, and I'm going to tell her, look, you need to do an article uh, uh, about this and something very in-depth and, and extensive, <laughs> or I'm just going to hand this fucking Oregon Pulitzer to, yeah. uh -huh. or I'm just going to hand this Oregon Pulitzer to uh, to Yu Xing. That's really all there is to it, you know? Well, okay. And then, I'll, and, yeah. then, and then I'll have her come to my hearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, let me tell you what else I know. Be quick. Uh, be quick. They just they just waved me off. So, uh, so I found out that the, a staff member there told me that at the old Fairview Hospital, do you know how much worse it used to be? Like, sure. apparently they, they'd have tasers, and they'd be firing the tasers, like, holding your neck, and tase the fuck out of you, and beat and punch the patients till they're uh, unconscious. Right. 
Right. So, right. Listen. Listen. Anyway. Listen. Yeah. Uh, that's that's fair view, but this is. This is yeah, but anyway, let me tell you what that leads up to. The, yeah. the, the staff there, his name's Tim. He works in security. He said, "Look, man, all those same mm -hmm. staff. His name's Tim. I don't have his last name. I know it's great. I, I know his face. He's a. He was telling me about the uni. He said, man, it used to be. You mean she? No, he. It's a he named Tim. And Tim. Oh, yeah. oh, Tim, yeah. Tim, T-I-M, he's, he's kind of like gray-haired, bald, and thin. I know, Tim. I know Tim. Yeah, he was, he was saying, man, it used to be much worse, but the union thing, now we're at the new hospital, most of the same staff are still here, and it's the same atmosphere of beat the patient, do this and that, cover it up. Their buddy system is to keep each other from getting prosecuted. Yeah. And uh, you could tell Hannah that I have a piece of evidence some security video, and I know you told me about this, uh, how you said, you know, Matt's had issues, but apparently Matt right. all stock. There's security video from 2011 of him just getting unprovokingly beaten, punched in the Harbors building to the point that he got broken ribs. And that, that would be powerful to put out there for people to see. Right, right. Yeah. And, and, and the last Plus my pictures I, and... The yeah. last article I read uh, from them before... Uh, had uh, uh, Matt Allstock's dad uh, get up in there and say that I don't believe how Mary Claire could could have gotten this, could have gotten this. Yeah, you know what? That is what I'll what I'll say to her. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna give her your number. Okay. Right? And I'm, sure. I'm gonna have her call you. All right. All right. All right. Let me go. to flag me down before they cut us off here. Okay. All right. All right. Good. You have good, a good, good night. Good, good call. All right. I'm, I'll uh, I'll call you tomorrow and or tonight yeah tomorrow yeah. and tell you what is up okay great all right i'll call look, you look okay. forward to your call man all right thanks but for real i won't be late all right good okay keep your uh keep your phone on okay all right thank you all right we'll do and if you're, you're and if you're not there then uh, uh i'll call and you get right back to me as soon as you can okay all right well all right, bye now. all right bye